Hello everyone and welcome back to Cute Crochet. My name is Sri and in today's video I am going to show you how to crochet this adorable little dolphin namigurumi. It's really easy to make and perfect for beginners and they make the most adorable keychains. I will show you everything step by step and I will include the written pattern along with the timestamps in the descriptions. So let's get started. I am going to use this light blue yarn. This is a 4 ply yarn and with it I am going to use a 3 mm crochet which is a couple of sizes smaller than what is recommended for this yarn. It's actually recommended to use a 4 mm hook with this. We do this so that our stitches are nice and tight and none of the stuffing shows through. We are going to start by making a magic circle. To do that, wrap your yarn up and over your finger like so, forming a cross in the front. Then insert your hook underneath the cross. Take the yarn from the other side and pull through. Then again yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook. Now remove this loop from your finger and this is the magic circle that we are going to work into. Start by making a chain 1. This chain 1 does not count as a stitch. Then we are going to make 4 single crochets into the magic circle. To make a single crochet, insert your hook into the magic circle and pull up a loop. You will have 2 loops on your hook like this. Yarn over and pull through the two loops and that finishes one single crochet. Let's do it again. Insert your hook into the magic circle and pull up a loop. Two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two. We are going to make two more single crochets into the magic circle for a total of four single crochets. After you've made the four single crochets, pull on this tail to cinch the magic circle completely closed. And this brings us to the end of round 1. This amigurumi is going to be worked in continuous rounds. So we need to mark the last stitch of the round. For that I am using a paper clip here but you can use anything. You can use a yarn in a different color or you can also get proper stitch markers. For round 2 we are going to increase in every alternate stitch. So start by making one single crochet into that first stitch. That first stitch might be a bit tight. So loosen it up with your crochet hook a bit first. Then into the next stitch I am going to make 2 single crochets into 1 stitch. This is called an increase stitch. Then into the next stitch make 1 single crochet. Then remove the stitch marker and into the last stitch of the round make 2 single crochets. This brings us to the end of round 2. At the end of round 2, you will have 6 single crochets. You will notice that your work will start to curl up on the wrong side like this. To turn it inside out, simply push on the back of it using something blunt like a pair of scissors or the back of your crochet hook. It should look something like this. Then mark the new last stitch of the round. For round 3, we are going to make 1 single crochet into each stitch all the way around, keeping the stitch count constant at 6. This brings us to the end of round 3. If your piece has become a little bit misshapen, you can reshape it again in the same way. Now 
don't forget to mark the new last stitch of the round and this is the end of the beak portion of the dolphin for round 4 we are going to increase into each stitch all the way around two single crochets into each stitch On the last stitch, remove the stitch marker and place two single crochets into that stitch as well. This brings us to the end of round 4. You will have 12 single crochets. Don't forget to mark the new last stitch of the round. For round 5, we are going to increase in every alternate stitch, same as round 2. So into the first stitch, make a single crochet and then in the next stitch, increase. We are going to repeat the sequence, single crochet increase, single crochet increase all the way around, repeating it a total of 6 times. Here I am at the last stitch, remove the stitch marker and place two single crochets into that stitch as well. And this brings us to the end of round 5. At the end of round 5 you will have 18 single crochets. Mark the new last stitch of the round. For round 6 we are going to make one single crochet into each stitch all the way around, keeping the stitch count constant at 18. Here I am at the end of round 6. Now I am going to repeat the same thing as round 6 for 4 more rounds. So for round 7, 8, 9 and 10, I am going to finish this and meet back up with you. Here I finished picking up to round 10. On round 11 we are going to start to curve the body a little bit. So we are going to start by making an increase stitch into the first stitch. Then make one single crochet into the next 6 stitches. Now 
then over the next two stitches we are going to make an invisible decrease for an invisible decrease we are going to only go under the front loop of the stitch not under both loops like we have been doing only under the front loop then twist your hook around and go under the front loop of the next stitch then yarn over and pull up a loop then finish it like normal this is an invisible decrease repeat the same thing over the next two stitches Then into the next 6 stitches of this round, make 1 single crochet. Then remove the stitch marker and increase into the last stitch. Don't forget to replace your stitch marker. At the end of round 11, your stitch count will remain constant at 18. For round 12, make 1 single crochet into each stitch all the way around. Here I am at the end of round 12. Your piece should have started to curve a little bit like this. Next we are going to start making the tail of the dolphin. For the tail start by chaining 7. Next, we are going to start working into this chain in the back loops, these bumps right here. This is the front, this is the back. So, skip the first chain and into the bump of the second chain, make a single crochet. Then, one single crochet into the next chain. One more in the next chain. Here I have made 3 single crochets, then chain 4, again we will walk into this chain in the back loops, skip the first chain and into the second, third and fourth chain make 1 single crochet. Then we are back at the original chain. In the remaining 3 chains, we are going to make 1 single crochet. So this is our tail piece for now, then we are going to start making single crochets into the round like we have been doing. Before doing that, move your stitch marker to the last stitch of the tail. This is going to be our new last stitch. 
For round 13, make one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. Then once we reach the tail, we are going to start working into the stitches of the tail. Make one single crochet into each of the first three stitches. Then chain 1 and move over to the other side of the tail. We are going to leave the V-shaped part of the tail alone. On the other side of the tail, into the last 3 stitches, make 1 single crochet. This brings us to the end of round 13. At the end of round 13, you will have 24 stitches. From round 14, we are going to start decreasing. Make one single crochet into the first two stitches. Then into the next two stitches, we are going to make an invisible decrease. Then into the next two stitches, again make one single crochet. Then into the next two stitches, invisible decrease. Continue repeating like this, one single crochet into the next two stitches and then invisible decrease all the way around. Once you reach the chain 1 stitch of the previous round, simply skip over it and continue like normal. At the end of round 14, you will have 18 single crochets. For round 15, make one single crochet into the first stitch. Then into the next two stitches, invisible decrease. Again, one single crochet into the next stitch and then invisible decrease.
Continue repeating this sequence of one single crochet and invisible decrease all the way around. At the end of round 15, you will have 12 single crochets. At this point, we are going to stuff the body. You don't have to stuff it all the way right now. I'm going to stuff it a bit more after doing the last round. For round 16 which is our last round, we are going to decrease into every stitch all the way around. Here I finished making my last round. At the end of round 16, you will have 6 stitches remaining. Now, through the small hole, I am going to put in a bit extra stuffing, especially in the tail region. I am compacting my stuffing a little bit so that it's easier to push in. And then I am pushing it in with the help of my scissors. You can also use the back of a crochet hook for this. Make sure to put some stuffing in the tail part as well. Cut the excess yarn leaving a long enough tail for sewing and then fasten off. Then to close up the hole, I am going to weave this tail in and out through the front loops of all of the stitches of this round. Then when you pull on this tail, it should close up the hole nicely.
with the help of a yarn needle bring that tail through the center of the hole and then out through the top of the head in the center make sure that this tail is centered with respect to the front and the back of the dolphin as you can see right now it's not quite centered so i'm moving it slightly i ended up putting it in between rounds 9 and 10 now it's pretty much symmetric we are going to use this tail to position our fins as well as to attach our key ring first we are going to make the dorsal fin which is on the back of the dolphin to make sure that it's going to be centered pull this yarn tail up to the tail fin and see which stitches it aligns with according to it we are going to start the dorsal fin from this stitch take your yarn and wrap it on your crochet hook like so then go into the mark stitch like I showed before and make a slip stitch into it. Then into the same stitch make a single crochet. Then into the next stitch we are going to make a half double crochet into this stitch for a half double crochet yarn over and then go into that stitch and pull up a loop. You will have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all 3 loops at the same time and that's our half double crochet. Then into the next stitch we are going to make a double crochet for that yarn over go into the next stitch and pull up a loop again you will have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through the first two then again yarn over and pull through the remaining two and that's our double crochet stitch then we are going to make a chain three then slip stitch into the same stitch as the double crochet to join Then cut the excess yarn and fasten off leaving a little bit of a tail for making a knot. Then using my crochet hook I am bringing the end yarn tail out through the same hole as the beginning yarn tail. You can also use a yarn needle for this. Then tie a knot using these two tails. Then cut the excess yarn and hide the knot into the body by pushing it in using the back of your yarn needle. And this is our dorsal fin complete. This is it from the other side. Now we are going to repeat the exact same thing on either side of the body for the pectoral fins. The pectoral fins will be a little bit more towards the front. So count up to round 8 and we are going to start it from there. This is also 4 stitches down from the dorsal fin. Then we are going to connect our yarn and make the fin in the exact same way as before. I am just going to speed through it.
Before finishing off this fin, I am going to make the other fin as well just to make sure that they are symmetric. Using the central yarn tail, I am going to measure the distance of the fin so as to make sure that they are equidistant on both sides. Now you'll notice that if we place our fin on the 8th round like we did for the other side, it will not line up correctly with the other fin, it will be slightly off center. To avoid that, we are going to place our fin on the 7th round for this side. So it's going to be this stitch. As you can see, it's pretty much even on both sides. Please note that on this side, we are making the fin upside down with respect to the other side. That's normal. Once you are happy with the placement of the fins, you can secure them with knots in the same way as before. Next, I am going to embroider the eyes using this black yarn. For that, I am going to push my needle through the head, aligning it with the fins to make sure that they are even on both sides. Once you are happy with the placement of the eyes, mark those spots with pins. My eyes are between rounds 5 and 6. For the embroidery of the eyes, I am going to make simple French knots. For that, come in from underneath the amigurumi and out through any one of the holes for the eyes. Do not pull this yarn tail all the way through. Then we are going to wrap the base of this yarn tail on our yarn needle twice like so. Don't wrap this too tightly. Then bring the yarn needle in through the same hole and out through the hole for the other eye. Now this is one eye done. We are going to repeat the same thing on the other side. For that, wrap the base of the yarn on your yarn needle twice like so. Then. Bring the yarn tail in through that same hole and out through the first hole that we came in through. Once you are happy with the placement of the eyes, you can tie a knot using the two black tails and then hide the knot into the body. Hold off on making this knot if you want to add a keychain to your amigurumi. In that case, we are going to bring out the last yarn tail that we used to attach the keychain out through the same hole and then we will tie a knot using the three tails and then hide them all together. Embroidery is the child safe option but you can also stick on some black beads for the eyes. These are flat back white pearls that I painted with black nail polish and I am sticking them on using some fabric glue. Do not do this in case you are making this for a child. These eyes can come off and become choking hazards. In that case, embroidery is your best bet. Positioning safety eyes correctly in this pattern is very tricky. Finally, to add the key ring, you'll need to sew through the jump ring of the keychain using your last yarn tail. Then bring it in through the same hole and out through the back of the amigurumi. Preferably out through the same hole as the yarn tails of the eye. You can also tie it to any one of the tails of the fins. And that's it. I hope you guys like this video. Thanks so much for watching. 
बाय